हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज कृपा सिंधु आई एम हियर टू टीच यू हुयर प्लांट्स लीव दैट इज देयर एडेप्टेशन इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ग्रीन प्लांट हाउ दे प्रोड्यूस देयर ओन फूड बट नाउ आई एम हियर टू टीच यू हुयर दे लीव व्हाट आर देयर हैबिटेट्स हाउ दे लीव इन दैट एनवायरमेंट दीज आर द थिंग्स आई एम going to teach you the things we are going to learn in this video we will learn here the habitat adaptation uh, plants on land plants on water and other plants what are other ki kinds of plants that are on our earth so um, plant grow in different places they can be founded in dry and sandy desert dump and wet plains hilly areas valley snow covered high mountains even underwater what does it means it means plant grow in different geographical locations and it can grow in sandy uh, sandy deserts uh, and uh, um, wet plains hilly areas also means also in the valleys it can grow anywhere where it will get favorable condition it will grow but the question remain what is habitat anything that is surrounded um, to a plant is known the habitat of that plant means the local environment of a plant is known its habitat the habitat can be small as a patch of garden it can be as small as a garden and as big as a big forest okay so plants often adapted to that environment where it lives where it grow and if that plant And if that plant not able to adapt to that environment, it will vanish or it will destroyed. So they always uh, able to adapt some features so that they can live in that place, and that is known as adaptation. These are the special features developed by that plant to live in that particular location. So plants can be divided. Plants can be divided into two major groups. that means the plants who are grow on lands and the plants who grow on water or we can say the aquatic habitats land or terrestrial plants land habitat can be divided into many areas plants grow in uh, each of these areas need to adjust to the kind of weather amount of rainfall type of soil and other such factor found in that place okay what is uh, what is the meaning of this sentences it means plant grow in different geographical location means it uh, the terrestrial or the land can be divided into so many locations means it can be a simple plain it can be a mountain uh, it can be the coastal areas uh, it can be a desert these are the different kind of plains where plant grow uh, any uh, anything that provide the favorable condition it will help the plant to grow there so if the plant is getting favorable condition it will grow there and let's see what are the um, favorable conditions and what are the adaptation are um, being adapted by the plants in plain plants growing in flat plain have more space to spread out means in, there are so many space so that plant can spread uh, to more areas which help that plant to take to receive more sun energy sunlight which ultimately helps them to uh, produce more food the water vapors that are evaporated from the leaf during day time also helps to um, keep the plant cool and the environment also and this also helps in in the and this also helps in uh, formation of rain the type of plants that grow in the plain are mango banyan neem peepal mulberry uh, sesrom are some of the plants that grow in the plain simple plain region and some of the trees that lose their leaves in autumn season uh, as the spring approaches they also um, the new leaves also comes on the branches now comes to the next point that is the plant uh, grows in deserts as we know Uh, in deserts there are sandy dry and hot places and uh, there is also very scarcity of water 
and that means there is no rain or very less rain happens in desert and there are uh, a lot of direction in which sunlight falls on the plant and all these factors uh, affect the plants in various ways means they have to adopt so many things so uh, otherwise they cannot survive in that uh, desert so mm, the soil in desert is sandy and unable to hold much water because uh, if the soil is sandy that soil cannot able to hold much water so there is scarcity of water and strong wind uh, in extreme temperature means during day times all these factor makes the survival tough means there are um, they makes the survival of the plants difficult uh, however the plants manage to overcome all the difficulties and uh, grow uh, there and the, there are some special uh, specialization that they have adopted um, to live in deserts and these are the plants are known as succulent what is succulent plant succulent means they store um, water in their stem and leaves if so a plant store water and leaf, uh, water in their stem and leaves we can tell that plant uh, as we can mention that plant as succulent and it has long root system in desert plant uh, spread the uh, spread and go deep into the ground because uh, the surface of the desert does not contain more, more water so if a plant uh, survive there then they had to uh, penetrate their roots deep down the um, sand so that they can find water out there and plants have um, very small seasonal leaves they have, um, there are very less amount of water available so they try to minimize their water loss during day time and uh, they um, converted their leaves into spikes uh, there's also some seasonal leaf means small leaves uh, that will grow on, uh, at the base of the spikes or sometimes they lack uh, the leaves to reduce the loss of water and they have also some other features in some plants uh, are leafless and conduct photosynthesis in their green stem means the, uh, in this stem will conduct the photosynthesis because they do, do not have any leaves and leaves cover the hair provided shed for the plant and thus reduce the water loss there are also spines that discourage the animal desert animals like camel to eat in those plants because there is less amount in less amount of water in desert so camel can leave those plants to get the water but due to this spike the due to this spine uh, the animal will not eat that plant and the, there are also coating uh, wax uh, uh, over the stem and the leaves of that plant now comes to the uh, next slide that is um, plants in mountains in mountains most of the plants are tall and straight they are cone shaped means uh, their shape is like a cone why this is happening the shape of the plants like this because it will help them in various ways like um, it will shed the it will help to shed the uh, snow that are falls on the uh, plant and uh, there are also needle like uh, needle shaped uh, leaf so that um, there is also less amount of transpiration and they have very dark color uh, dark colored needle needle leaf means that why they adopted the dark color because in the mountain mountain region there is less temperature and if there is less temperature that the plant have to pursue the photosynthesis and they need temperature also to survive in that region and due to dark color that will absorb the sunlight or heat and that will help them to keep them warm and they have the concept to keep the branches from break, breaking because it will not let the branches to break in tundra region there, there are uh, snow throughout the year on that land and uh, there are some there are very few plants grown there that is the plants in heavy rainfall area if there is heavy rainfall then uh, there would be um, 
evergreen forest means the plant will get uh, the water rain water throughout the year uh, and that will helps uh, them to not to lose not to shed their uh, leaves during autumn one, and they uh, do not lose their leaves and the plants like uh, uh, rice lychee cashew pineapple sugarcane rubber cotton stick these are all grow in these areas now comes the next point that is the plants along with sea coast means along with the coastal uh, along the coastal area there are some plants like coconut that uh, coconut uh, that uh, that grow um, along the uh, coastal area and why they um, prefer to why they prefer to grow in coastal region because um, in coastal region uh, there is high rainfall and uh, salty water and uh, these condition are favorable favorable for um, the um, coconut plant uh, to grow there and their seed are also um, dispersed by the water so that they can reach to another place uh, where they can grow um, uh, there are also some kind of plant that uh, grow in marshy or swampy area means uh, where we can say that area that does not uh, dry any time of the year these areas have a clayey soil means a very sticky soil it is difficult for the plant to grow in such area as air cannot reach the root and this soil are very much sticky so that um, air cannot penetrate the uh, soil uh, so it is very difficult for the plant to get uh, so get oxygen for the respiration soil uh, root respiration that's why mangroves the plant like mangroves uh, um, they adopted a uh, features for growing out their uh, roots out uh, roots to outside so to get the oxygen and uh, breathing roots we can say that uh, say those thing breathing roots are well developed well adapted to grow in swamp area now come to the next slide the next point is mm, the plants that grow in water means the aquatic plants the plants that grow in water have special adaptation to because um, as they are growing in water they have different adaptation from the plants that grow in um, land or terrestrial region aquatic plants can can be floating fixed or submerged floating plants like dogweed and water hyacinth are light spongy and they can float on the surface these are the dogweed and water hyacinth these are the um, plants that are floating plants they float on water surfaces their roots are not fixed to the underground soil they have the chlorophyll is restricted to the upper uh, part of the leaves means only in the upper part of the leaf there are chlorophyll and the, their stem does not have any chlorophyll and they do photosynthesis out here and the upper surface is waxy to repel water uh, if we will drop water on the um, leaves of that uh, leaves on of those kind of plants that uh, water will not be solved by the leaves now come to the fixed plant fixed plant have the root fixed to the bottom of the water body such as pond they have a long stem to reach the surface like uh, lily uh, lotus these are the plant uh, known as submerged plant and uh, they are um, sorry fixed plant and uh, their root remain at the ground uh, under the water and uh, the leaf is on the water surface and there uh, there are also wax coating on the leaves of the um, of these those plants example of the plant that grow in the um, water are the lotus water lily are the examples underwater plants such as plant weed tap grass have a narrow leaves without stomata the narrow leaves without stomata they breathe 
थ्रो द सर्फेस एंड कीप द वाटर क्लीन द सबमर्ज प्लांट वाटर न्यूट्रिय एंड डिजल्व गैसेस आर एबजर्व थ्रो द लिवस डायरेक्टली फ्रम द वाटर मीन्स द गैसेस गैसेस मीन द ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड डायरेक्टली एबजर्व बाय द सर्फेस ऑफ द प्लांट दैट दैट इज टॉस्ड विद द वाटर एंड द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑल्सो एक्सपेल आउट थ्रो द डिफ्यूजन एंड दिस प्लांट कीप्स द वाटर बॉडी क्लीन नाउ कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज नॉन ग्रीन प्लांट्स एज द नेम सजेस्टेड means uh, non green means there is no chlorophyll they do not have the chlorophyll and uh, the example of this kind of plants is the indian pipes coral roots plant are the some examples and we can say these are saprophytes means they dependent on the um, dead uh, dead bodies we can say that uh, for their nutrition now comes to the next point the carnivorous or the insectivorous plants the carnivorous plant grow in place with poor soil that does not offer any nutrients means there are adaptation for the plant if they uh, need nitrogen as uh, the nutrients in that soil if there is no nitrogen so from where that plant will get the nitrogen that's why um, the plant will trap the animals from the from the animals it will digest that animal and get the required amino acid from that animal and the nitrogen also that's why they become they adapted to become um, insectivorous or carnivorous uh, what they do actually is uh, they develop some traps for in insect Uh, for the nutritional needs and, and the structure like uh, pitcher this is a structure of pitcher and this is a um, fly trap also and these have their specific uh, specification like uh, the leaves of the venus fly trap this is a venus fly trap uh, fly trap plants that consist two lobe like structure this is one lobe and this is another lobe uh, and uh, so um, lob like leaves joined in the middle they are joined here they have the tiny hairs grow near the hinge means in the edge region there are tiny hairs uh, when a, any insect cross uh, that area uh, it will um, it will um, the plant will sense that and uh, suddenly close the uh, lob and the plant uh, the insect will be Uh, trapped here and some digestive juice will be secreted uh, to here to digest that um, body of that insect uh, here uh, also in the pitcher plant uh, the same mechanism um, uh, also applied here uh, the pitcher plant develop some nectar means it is a smelling subject the smelling smelling substance that is attract uh, that attract uh, the insect towards it and if a uh, insect come to Uh, sip that uh, nectar it will trap here and there is there are downwards hair so that they cannot fly out of it and uh, after some times and uh, the digestive juice will be secreted out here and the body of the plant uh, body of the insect will be digested these are some um, these are some important uh, adaptation uh, by the plants and uh, if you like the video please uh, do subscribe our channel and uh, press the bell icon thank you